Charlie. Charlie, good afternoon. Yeah. 
1950 with Richard Good, for giving us a demonstration of his prowess in composition style aerobatics, Russian style. Of course, Vladivar Vodka, not brewed in Moscow, but in fact in Warrington. And this is their little bit of Glasnost. They in fact now run two of these machines. Of course, Richard Good, no stranger to Manchester Air Show or to Barton. He's been visiting here in a number of different aircraft for many years. Of course, the Yak 50, although quite an old fashioned looking aircraft, is actually quite a modern machine. Fuel systems which allow it to fly equally well upside down or the right way up. Square loop. No, it's a 50 pence loop. Very difficult maneuver to fly because of the loss of visual cues on the turn. There's Prudent Line Venom, Prudent Hatfield, 1949. So, really not that long after the war, we've really, had an aircraft like this. Over 350 Venom FB1 for this. Actually, had an ejector seat. The early jets, of course, didn't have ejector seats. Um, I suppose that no one even considers flying. I'm uh, too young to remember, Mike, but can you help me? Are those yellow stripes Suez invasion stripes? Yeah, I think that's right. I think they were the. Uh, I think that's really <laughs> the original concept of that came from uh, the Navy in uh, D-Day that decided the only way to stop the army causing absolute havoc was to make sure all the aircraft were painted with one very... The aircraft, the Boeing Stearman, of course, is basically uh, used as originally a training aircraft, then in the States a lot of them were used for crop spraying and that's exactly what this aircraft uh, did before it was brought back to UK for this particular display uh, concept. That lovely noise comes from the nine-cylinder pattern with me. Basically the tips of the repeller is almost getting supersonic, that's why you get that lovely sort of whining noise. Actual speed during the display with the hell is on the top of the wing is probably around about 130 miles an hour. So if you can imagine driving down the motorway at 130 miles an hour in an open top sports car standing on the back seat.
meteorological flights, taking these Mark II, Metman 60. Bristol 
Centaurus engine, 18 cylinders, developing 2,480 horsepower. We're looking at the uh, new car steering area, that's 450 horsepower. This one's 2,480 horsepower.
are all that will stop him from being catapulted from the cockpit, while in contrast, Dick is being forced into a seat by an equal force of positive 5G, which is more romantic for most of will recognise as the floating part.